once upon a time, before 2020, we could gather freely, family and friends, without any problem. But after 2020, all this changed. We could gather, but with restrictions and social distancing. And again, once upon a time before 2020, children studied in schools, in their classrooms, face to face with their teachers, and they enjoyed learning. But after 2020, studies became online and much of the joy of learning disappeared. Teachers and students were tired of the glare of the computer. And as the story goes, before 2020, we could travel easily, no restrictions, no fear. But now, flight restrictions. We can't travel freely. Oh no, flight cancelled. Sad. Travel is not easy anymore. Oh yes, we could shake hands easily and fearlessly. And we could embrace or hug each other or greet each other without fear. But now, the Indian Namaste and the Chinese greeting may be used with social distancing. And remember, we could breathe freely, the free oxygen anywhere, everywhere. <sighs> free, but now... We cannot breathe freely outside without the mask, that irritating mask. At the same time, some even need the oxygen cylinder. All these happened because the coronavirus invaded our lives and turned it upside down. It became topsy-turvy. But that's not the end of the story. God allowed the pandemic to strike the world because he has a plan and a purpose for it. God allowed the pandemic because many of us took God for granted. And along with that, all his blessings for granted. The blessing of gathering freely, traveling without restrictions, and breathing freely, and many other blessings we took for granted. If God wants, He can sweep the pandemic out of this world in no time. But since He is sovereign, He is still on the throne. He has His perfect time and will. It's high time that we learned our lesson from the pandemic. Let's be on our knees and acknowledge him for who he is and thanking him for every blessing. God is still on the throne and he is in control of everything. He will never forget his own. God is still on the throne. is still on the throne and he will remember his own though trials may press us and burdens distress us he never will leave us alone god is still on the throne he never forsaketh his own his promise is true he will not forget you God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. And so the story continues.